Give him glory. Give him glory. God's gonna get it. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Come on, sing it to him. So just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's gonna get it. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Come on, somebody, sing it to him. Just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory out of this. Come on and sing it to him. So just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory out of this. Come on and sing it with me. So just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory. Somebody get the breakthrough this morning. Somebody get the breakthrough this morning. Come on and lift your hands to heaven. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory out of this. God's going to get the glory. And God's going to get the glory out of this. The devil going to be proved to be a liar. Because... God's going to get the glory out of this. I know the devil means it for your heart, but guess what, church? God's going to get the glory out of this. God's going to get it. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory out of this. God's going to get it. God's going to get the glory out of this mighty God. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like, how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, minister to your people on this morning, encourage them to faint in heart, those who are at the end of their ropes, those who are struggling, burdened down, they need answers to their prayer. Let the Word of God come alive to them. God, one word from God changes everything. Impart your faith, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your power, your strength into their lives on this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go into the book of Mark chapter 7 verses 25 through 30. 
I want you to listen to this. This this is one of these stories that I will preach over and over and over and over because the, it, it just encourages people who are believing God for a breakthrough and a miracle. Amen. The Bible says in Mark chapter 7, beginning at verse 25, And a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of Jesus and came and fell at his feet. That's a sign of humility. Not only a sign of humility, that's a sign of faith. You're not going to go and bow down before someone and begin to cry out to them unless you are convinced that they can help you. Come on, somebody, talk back to me. So she heard about all the miracles that Jesus had performed. She heard how he had raised Lazarus from the dead, restored sight to blind Bartimaeus, cast demons out of those who were possessed. Now she was in need of a miracle for her own daughter. And she came to Jesus, she came to Jesus and fell at his feet. A sign of humility, total dependence on God. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Wow, her daughter was in bondage. Her daughter needed to be set free from the power of Satan. And she turned to the right person. She went to Jesus. Listen to me, good friends. Jesus is the answer for the world today. I don't care how they try to deny Jesus and try to go around him. Jesus is the answer. He is the solution to whatever problem it is that you are facing right now. He is alive. He is real. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. But I'll be with you even unto the end of this world. So the Bible says the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. She was a Gentile coming to a Jew. And she besought him that he would cast the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled. For it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. In other words, let the Jews come first. But listen to this now. Jesus was not being nasty to her. He was testing this woman's faith. Man, some of us would have got mad, cussed him out, and just ran out the church or ran from where he was. You can't be weak in your faith. The Bible says if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. You got to fight back. Glory to God. I say you got to fight back. You got to be aggressive in your faith. He is testing you. So after she made that statement, after Jesus made that statement, he said, let the children be filled first. And she answered and said unto him, yes, Lord. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. Glory to God. She said, look, man, even if I'm a dog, I deserve to get at least a crumb. And I just love the analogy because the same eggs that's in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. The sugar that's in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. Glory to God. <laughs> the milk that's in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. The butter that's in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. The flour, the yeast. My God, help me shout here. If healing is in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. Glory to God. If deliverance is in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. Lord, all I need, I feel the Holy Ghost all I need is a crumb and my daughter will be healed give me a crumb I don't mind being a dog because even the dogs get to eat the crumbs glory and whatever is in the loaf come on shout here I feel the Holy Ghost my God <laughs> come on somebody just give him praise that you gonna get the miracle all you need is a crumb the Bible says if you got faith the size of a mustard seed you shall say unto this mountain, move to yonder place. And if you don't doubt, Jesus said, it will be done. My God. So watch this now. She said, yes, Lord, even the dogs underneath the table eat from the crumbs. And Jesus 
being moved and impressed with this woman's faith and determination not to quit and not to give up. He said to her, for this saying, ha, go your way. The devil is gone from out of your daughter. Oh, her prayer was answered. Her prayer was answered that very day. Her prayer was answered. She had been believing God. She had been praying and all she broke through into the presence of God that morning. Verse 30 says, And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed in her right mind. God will not turn down your prayer. My God. Come on, lift your hands and begin to thank him. God will not turn down your prayer. God will not turn down your prayer. Praise God. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support the work of God, to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, you can visit us online right now seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also give through the ministry zell account our zell email address is info at seanpinder.net info at seanpinder.net and for tax purposes email us your name and mailing address you can also give through the ministry cash app account that address is the dollar sign sean pinder ministries the dollar sign sean pinder ministries and for tax purposes email us your name and mailing address if it's your first time giving you can also mail your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. And make sure let us know what's happening in your life through the word of the Lord that we are preaching. We read many of your letters. We receive many of your cards. It means a lot to us when people say thank you. It means a lot. We love hearing from you our precious viewing audience continue to write into us by email and by mail we love hearing from you your testimonies the things you say in your letters it move us it encourages us and it helps god to work in our lives to show us how we can better minister to you never forget pastor sean and pastor amy we love you very much we care deeply about you we love you so much and remember subscribe to this channel click on that subscribe button and make sure click on the gray bell turn on your notifications and remember check these videos out it will be a blessing in your life love you god bless you see you on tomorrow bye bye